Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy, bringing you another video log here from the team house. We are finally back in Chicago, and I feel absolutely fan-freaking-tastic right now. I slept about five hours on the flight. Uh, I pulled an all-nighter over in Europe. We went out to the casino, and uh, we stayed out there till 7 a.m. Then we went back to the hotel, and I pulled an all-nighter to try and, you know, get my sleep schedule back on track with uh, my American one, or my United States one, so I stayed up all night, and I literally, I felt so shitty, it was the worst, the worst, like, two hours of my life, starting from, I took a nap in the hotel, a 30 minute nap, when we got home, which wasn't smart when we were waiting for our cab, that wasn't smart, I woke up and I felt like hell, and then we took a cab to the airport, and then when we got to the airport, it was like a two-hour time span, and I just felt like absolute shit. But now I feel great. We're back in Chicago. Here I am making another video for you guys, and uh, it's just awesome. We got some Panda Express. We just ate baby pandas, which was great. I'm trying to find the box, but it looks like we already disposed of all of them. But yeah, we're back from Gfinity. I just want to talk about the event a little bit, you know, give you guys some insight. What went down? How was it? You know, stuff like that. So let's get into it. So first of all... I just want to talk about <laughs> the general, I can see your ass, bro. The general, you know, fun of the event. So whenever we went to Europe in prior prior events, um, it wasn't that fun. There wasn't much to do. Fuck out of here, dude. It, it wasn't that fun. There wasn't that much to do. And um, the location wasn't that great. But now that we were in London, it was loads of fun. Oh my god. It was tons of fun. Um, I had a blast. That was the first time I've been to Europe and actually had like a lot of fun. The other times I was strictly there for a tournament and just a tournament and I wouldn't do anything other than, you know, the tournament. But um, this time around it was a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. We went out. We went out to the casino a couple nights. Uh, we went to a pizza place for a, you know, party before the event started. It was just really well ran and props to Gfinity. Uh, the event was really nicely run. The stream had a couple of issues at the start of the tournament, but I believe they got resolved uh, as it went further and further into the tournament. So that was good. Uh, the venue was awesome. They treated us uh, very, very nicely. <laughs> They treated us very, very nicely. They got food for us. They did a whole bunch of different things for us uh, that you wouldn't get from an MLG event or another event. They just – it was very secluded, very, very professional. You know, there were only 10 teams, so that's 40 players uh, unless there are coaches on the team. So they really could take care of us, and uh, the hospitality that they showed was great. The next thing I want to talk about is the actual tournament structure. The tournament structure was good. There was one problem with it, though, and that's single elimination. Um, after pool play – I don't really agree with single elimination. It's just, I don't know. Because if you get maps that you're not good at and you play a, good, a team that's good at those maps, you know, it, it sort of sucks. So it's sort of the luck of the bracket and, like, things like that. But uh, other than that, the tournament structure was really, really nicely run. The, everything was on time. They, whenever you got, whenever you sat down for a match, they had you, you know, setting up and getting ready. So they were trying to stay on schedule. So everything was good. Uh, the stream numbers were good. There were a lot of people watching the stream. Thank you if you know you were watching the stream, supporting us. And, um, yeah, so basically the event was a, a lot of fun. The event was very nicely run. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time. But now I want to talk a little bit about how we placed, how we played, um, and things like that. So I thought we played very, very well. Uh, during pool play, we were absolutely exhausted. Um, at the end of pool play, we were playing Prophecy and Complexity, we were drained, and I can imagine. I can't imagine how complexity was feeling either. They were probably drained as well, um, just because you know we're Americans. We're trying to get on their sleep schedule. We didn't sleep a lot the night before, so it was it was rough. The first day was rough. The second day, though, I felt a lot better. I felt we played very very well. Um, we played AAA first, and Gataga's on that team. If you if you have never heard of Gataga, he's a French player, very big French YouTuber, and we played them. Came down to the last map, very, very intense, very, very close. Um, they're a really, really good team, and they played us really close. And uh, yeah, they, they were really good games against them. And we beat them, so they were, were guaranteed top four. And then we played TCM, and TCM was on absolute fire. They took out, they beat Impact, uh, they beat Envious, they beat, who else did they beat? They beat Curse, so they beat a lot of good teams and they beat impact three to one and we've never beaten impact so 
we were we were like, all right, so these guys, we weren't taking them lightly. We were like, these guys are going to be freaking solid, and they were. Their hard point game was very, very, very good. They took a hard point off off of complexity, actually. And here, wait, let me let me get that light back up. All right, there we go. A little bit of lighting for my Xbox, but um, they took they beat Impact three to one. They took a hard point off of complexity which is impressive because complexity is very, very good at hard point as well. So they were a very good team. We weren't underestimating them, and uh, they beat, They ended up beating us 3-2. to two. Uh, Went on the last map, Meltdown, Search and Destroy, and uh, their strategies Their strategies were really good. We went up 2-1, to one, and then they won five straight rounds on us, I think. Uh, we, we shot ourselves in the foot a couple of times, but uh, it is what it is. Search and Destroy, we didn't lose a Search and Destroy up until that point, I don't think. No, we probably lost one or two. They didn't lose a search and destroy until they played us, and uh, we took our the first the first search and destroy off of them. So that was you know that was good. Our search and destroy game was really good this weekend. Our hard point struggled. It's weird because some events our hard point is really good, and then our search and CTF struggles. This event I felt like our hard point struggled the most, and then our CTF and SND were a lot better than they normally were. So it was weird, but. That's just about it about Gfinity. I don't really know what else to talk about. Uh, very well run. Very good event. Very professional. I enjoyed myself over there in London, but I'm really glad to be back. I'll be going to Pennsylvania tomorrow. Actually, while you're, I don't know, maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. While you're watching this video, I'll be driving uh, 12 hours back to the homeland of Scumpy. So, if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you click the like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, favorite it, comment, let me know what you thought of the video. Any constructive criticism always helps me out. Fav no, wait, where, where, where was I? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, follow me on Twitter. It'll be in the description below. But as always, guys, this was your boy, Optic Scumpy. Peace.